In this video, we will rationalize denominators that have higher indexes. As we do, it will be really important that we use the index to keep in mind what we're dividing the exponent by. We will then figure out how many extra factors we need to clear the radicals by multiplying by any extra needed factors in the denominator. It is very important that we multiply the same thing in the numerator as well. As a hint, to help us do this with any numbers, we may want to factor them to know what factors we're working with. Let's take a look at some examples where we do just that. In this problem, you notice we are working with the 7th root. This means we need to divide the exponent by 7. We currently cannot divide 2 by 7. So what we will do is we will multiply by a 7th root by the number of missing factors. We already have 2 b's. We need 5 more to get 7, which we can then divide by the index. And we'll do the same thing in the numerator. As we do this, we now have 5 times the 7th root of b to the 5th over, when we multiply these together, we have b to the 7th. Dividing that by the index, we just have a b coming out of the radical. And we have our final solution, completely simplified with no radical in the denominator. Let's take a look at a slightly more involved problem where we do this exact same process finding how many more factors we need in order to divide the denominator's exponent by the index. Let's rewrite this problem as two separate radicals. As we do, we're going to factor the 9 so we know what factors we're dealing with. 9 is 3 squared, a squared b. There is nothing we can simplify in these radicals, so we will have to rationalize the denominator to get the radical out of there. We do this by multiplying by a radical, listing all the missing factors. Matching the index, using the index, we need 3 of anything to clear the radical. We already have 2 of the first factor, 3. To divide by the index of 3, we need 1 more, 3. Similarly, with the a squared, we already have 2 a's. We need 1 more a to give us 3, which we'll be able to divide by the exponent, or by the index, of 3. However, with the b's, there is only 1 b there to get us started. To divide by the exponent of 3, we will need 2 more b's. This is what we need to multiply by in order to clear the radical. We will do the same thing on top, multiplying by the cube root of 3a, b squared. When we do this, the numerator is the cube root of 7 times 3, or 21, a, b squared. And the denominator has 3 cubed. Dividing the exponent by 3 gives us 1 coming out. a cubed. Dividing the exponent by 3 gives us 1 coming out and b cubed, dividing the exponent by 3, gives us 1 coming out. With no radicals left, we simply have 3 a b for our final answer. By multiplying by any missing factors, using the index to decide how many we need, we can rationalize a denominator so that we have no radicals left on the bottom.